long? A couple years now. And have you met anyone, you know, significant? Oh, uh, hang on one sec, Meg. Hey. Hey. How's she doing? Oh, uh, she's uh, got a frozen abdomen. But, you know, all things considered, she's pretty okay. That's great. And how are you? Uh, yeah, all things considered, pretty okay. You? Same. Hey, sorry, Meg, where were we? I was asking if you met anyone and you were buying time to come up with an acceptable answer. I wasn't buying time. Liar. Look, I, I, I did meet someone. And? And she's not you. Smooth. Right? <laughs> Meredith? I'm sorry, I would never have asked you to consult on Megan's case. Oh, you didn't ask me. Well, is you working on Megan the best idea? I mean, family and all, conflict of interest? She's not my family. Well, I get that, but... I am the best person for this job. Just let me help. We get through it this time. <laughs> yeah. Hurting my knees. <laughs> Megan Hunt. <laughs> I have loved you since the day I met you. I don't know how I got through these last 10 years without you. And now that you're back, I don't want to spend one more day without knowing that you and I have actually... We have a match, Megan. Oh. Whoa. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm... No, 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 don't. Don't be sorry. I need that flesh to be fresh when you sew it on me. We can do this another time. Are you ready? Are you? Absolutely. Yeah, she's... She's perfect, thank you. You, um, you're incredible. So what are you doing out here? Well, um... She doesn't want to be with me. She, uh... She thinks I'm still in love with you. Meredith. Hey, look, can we talk? With pithy little quotes that we can wrap our heads around. What's with the bag? I've got plenty of personal days saved up. I thought I'd take some time, see what's next. No. Hey, you don't get a vote on this, okay? We're not friends. You made that clear. Because I'm angry. Because you got a gift that I'll never get. And you're wasting it. You are throwing it away. We had the same dream. And when you didn't fight for her, you're betraying that. And you're betraying me. I'm not betraying you. She doesn't want to be with me. She thinks I'm in love with you. And I am. Hey, or I was. I'm, I'm not going to look at her and lie. God, you can be infuriating sometimes. Nathan, life is complicated. And Megan gets that. You don't have to lie. You have to fight. Show her that you love her. Remind her of why she fell in love with you. Make her see that she is your first and only choice. Please don't blow this. Calling me. If you couldn't think of anything to say before you left, there certainly isn't anything to talk about now. Hello, Dr. Gray. I'm so glad I was finally able to reach you. Putting you on speakerphone, okay? Okay. I'm here at the embassy in Baghdad, and the officials have some questions they need answered by Farouk Shami's doctor regarding his beta thalassemia and the clinical trial you are running, so we can secure his medical travel visa, okay? Y yes, of course, Dr. Riggs. I'm sorry I didn't call you back sooner. Hello, Dr. Gray. I'm Dr. Al Azari, the U.S. Embassy Panel Physician. Of course. And the sample you received, how is his MCV? Uh, low, 68. Ferritin level? 
Well, 111, but the sample could have decayed during transport. Were there any Heinz bodies on the peripheral blood smear? Um, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Let me move to a better spot. Dr. Grace, I said, were there any Heinz bodies? Yes, there were Heinz bodies on the blood smear. Thank you, doctor. We will let you know if we have any further questions. Okay, great. Thanks. Dr. Riggs? Hello? I'm alone now. Why didn't you tell me you were going to do this? Why didn't you pick up your phone and call me for days? Why didn't you call someone else? Because they are rule followers, Meredith, and you're the one that told me to make the grand gesture. I'm sorry. When you left, I just... I didn't know. Do you think it worked? I don't know. Look over back in Seattle by 3 o'clock tomorrow, and then it worked. Okay, so what can I do now? Just don't tell Megan about this, okay? Not until I know for sure what's going to happen. Pick up your phone next time. Come on, leave the light on for myself when I come home. Leave the light on for myself when I come home. 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 You're the doctor? Yes, I'm Dr. Gray. What is the holdup exactly with my patient? The individual can't be released until DHS comes and checks it off. And we're waiting on some paperwork from INS. They do not wait for paperwork. Well, he seems all right for now, so just let me do my job, and we'll get him out of here as quick as we can. Does he? Does he seem okay to you? Do you know what thalassemia major looks like? Um, I do. As clearly as the yellow in your eyes tells me you should see a doctor and get your liver checked soon. And do you have a form that you fill out for standing by while a child dies? Because you're going to need that one if you don't open this door and get me my patient and let me do my job. Megan, I want you to stay calm. Don't make any sudden movements. Don't jump out of bed. I don't want you to ruin my work. What are you doing here? I brought you someone. Hi, Mama! Oh, my God! 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 I missed you! I missed you, too! I Jennifer Colby. Oh my God, are you real? Are you real? Are you really here? Oh, this is your uncle Owen. Oh, and this is for real. Hey, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for looking after her. <laughs> you can hear her. Oh my God. <laughs> Have you eaten anything? You must be so tired. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. The food here is terrible.